Etsy is a fantastic tool for handmade sellers. It's phenomenal. It's got an amazing customer base who keep coming back and buying time and time again. But they can come back and buy from anybody on Etsy. So really, you want to make those Etsy customers your customers. So they are buying from you, not just buying from Etsy. So how can you do that? What can you do? Is there anything you can do? Yes, there is. Let's have a chat about it. So the trick to turning Etsy customers into your customers is to get them from Etsy and onto your email list. Now, this is an absolute no brainer of a thing to do, whether you are thinking that you're going to stay on Etsy indefinitely and you're happy to sell there as a platform or whether you're looking at seeing if you can get your own website up and running. It doesn't matter. Having those email addresses, those customer, those buyer email addresses on your mailing list gives you a far stronger, safer business. If anything should ever happen to your Etsy store, you're safe. You have a list of buyers. You're not just relying on social media where we know it's already fickle, but you can send these people wherever it is that you want to, that you know that they already love you and they already buy from you. So it's an absolute no brainer. So let's figure out how we're going to do it. Now, before we get stuck into exactly how you can do this, Let's just talk about the elephant in the room, which is, is this okay to do? Now, it used to be that it wasn't. It was a big, clear, no, no, do not do it. You are risking your Etsy account. And actually, it's changed a little bit now. And whilst it might not be something that Etsy publicizes and encourages you to go out and do, they actually have made it a lot easier. And if we look at the Etsy seller policy now, so in the privacy and protecting personal information section, it of course tells you that you're responsible for all the data protection and privacy laws. But then it goes on to talk about how you're gonna use this information. I'm just gonna read you this bit. So it says, for example, you may receive a buyer's email address or other information as a result of entering into a transaction with that buyer. This information may only be used for Etsy related communications or for Etsy facilitated transactions. You may not use this information for unsolicited commercial messages or unauthorized transactions, which is exactly how it used to be. And that used to be pretty much where it stopped. Now there's another sentence on that. Without the buyer's consent and subject to other applicable Etsy policies and laws, you may not add any Etsy member to your email or physical mailing list, use that buyer's identity for marketing or obtain or retain any payment information. Now, it sounds pretty clear cut almost, doesn't it, that you can't do this, but it does say without the buyer's consent. Now, you do have to be careful because obviously Etsy have worked really, really hard to build up their customer base. And if you're just going on there and you're trying to get people off and you're not sending them back, you may be risking your Etsy store. So you do have to decide if that's worthwhile or not. But if you do this properly, if you play your cards right, this can be an absolutely phenomenal way to strengthen your business and to give you a much more secure footing. You know the saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket. And if you are solely relying on Etsy and that Etsy store to create and bring in all your sales for you, then you've got all your eggs in one basket. Having an email list and getting people off Etsy onto that emailing list gives you a second basket. It makes you a much safer, more secure business. How are you going to do this? Well, there are three ways that you could do this. And the first one is the way that Etsy actually allows you to do it. They have given Aweber permission, Aweber is an email service provider, that you can have an Aweber sign up box. They can tick a box and be added straight away to your Aweber mailing list. And from Aweber is where you then do your mailing out and, and contact everybody, which is fantastic. And it shows you that Etsy really are expecting people to take this on board and to do something with it. The downside of this is that to get that check that button, to get that permission button, and we need that permission, it's absolutely crucial so you're not breaching any data protection rules. To get that button, this is going to cost you $19 a month. So it could be that it's worth it for you. And yeah, if you're getting lots of email lists and it's giving that really strong business that you can know 
you're not going to have any issues with or any concerns about, then yes, $19 isn't a lot to pay. But if it's more than you are comfortable paying right now, what else can you do? So if you prefer not, and maybe you don't want to use Aweber, that's another part of that story. So what else can you do? Well, another thing you can do is you can follow up and send a thank you message afterwards. It's directly relating to that purchase. It's checking in with the customer. It's being friendly and helpful. Do they need any additional instructions? Do they need any care instructions? Do they need any more help with what they've done? And by the way, if you'd like to make another purchase, here's a link to go and sign up to get a discount code let's say a discount code on this one. So you're encouraging them to go off and sign up. They are making a choice. They are making their own decision and confirming that they're doing this. That is obviously using Etsy's platform and Etsy might not be too happy about it if you do it too often, but many, many sellers do do this very, very successfully. But you have to make sure you're looking after your customer first. This is not a marketing message. We know from this, the Etsy seller policy, that the, anything that is a commercial message is against Etsy's policies. So you have to make sure that it's a complete, thank you for your order. Do you need any more help? I trust everything's okay. By the way, here's a link to some care instructions. And if you're thinking about another purchase, here's a discount for being such a fantastic customer. It is all connected. There's nothing for anybody to complain about. It's not, oh, thanks for buying. Now go off and join my mailing list because I want to get you off Etsy. We don't want to go like that. It has to be friendly and it has to be helpful. Now, if you're not comfortable doing that, or actually if you're thinking, oh, it sounds like a lot of work to go in and message each and, in each and every customer, yeah, well, what about including something with your product when you mail it out? Maybe you include a thank you letter or a sheet with care instructions on it, which includes the offer of something that's an amazing incentive that will get them onto your mailing list. Now, a tip here, a quick tip and a really important tip is include a QR code. You can Google it, QR code creator. They're really, really simple and quick to come up with, but it just means someone can pick their phone up and take a photograph of the image. We'll try and take a photograph of the image and it will pop up and give them a link to go to instead of them having to kind of look and type in and get all confused about a URL. So it just means they're going to get there. So QR code is a great tip for this. So what can you do? What incentives can you do? Well, there's five different types of incentive really that you can include to get people onto your mailing list. One is a bonus for their purchase that so if you come here, they're going to get this as an extra thing, an online thing, ideally, so you don't have to post anything else out to them. Number two is that you could offer them a freebie. If you come to this, I'm going to give you this for free. Again, ideally, it's something online. So you've only had to create it once and, and it just happens automatically online because that's the best way for it. Number three is to give them a discount off their next order. Just set up a discount code and include it. As soon as they give you their email address, that first email out includes the discount code off the next order. Your other one is have a giveaway. Give them a chance to win something. Maybe you do a monthly draw and this is if they fill in this and give you their email list, email, email address even, you'll add them to your email list and they'll be entered for a chance to win a product they've just bought so you know they already love it. Or your other one is, is that you give them an incentive and tell them that this is your VIP list. They'll be the first to see your designs and that actually they may get a chance to buy on a discounted um offer as well. So whatever it is, make it something valuable that's worth them sharing their email list with. But you can include it as a product. You can send them as a thank you message through Etsy, or you can use the Aweber link. But either way, you've taken the customers from Etsy and you've turned them into your customers, which means that you no longer have all your eggs in one basket. You're no longer on shaky ground because if anything, heaven forbid, should happen to your Etsy store, then you have these customers now and you have that email list. And as long as you're sending out regular emails and you're in touch with them, you can then send them to anywhere you want them to buy from you from. <laughs> that didn't even make sense as a sentence, but you know what I mean, that you can now send those customers to wherever it is that you want them to go to, to buy the products. You're not just limited to Etsy. It opens up a whole world of opportunity for you. So I hope you're going to do that. I hope you're going to take advantage of the fact that you now can move people with permission 
as long as you're being friendly and helpful and and it's all part of the package it's all part of the service that you offer then it's going to strengthen your business as well. That's it for today. I'm Nicola Smith. I'm here to help you with your handcrafted business so you can craft the business of your dreams. And I shall speak to you again very, very soon. Bye.